there's just something about small little micro bags and then partnering with spring and bright color just kind of makes me so happy. Welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here, I mostly talk about handbags on this channel, but I love fashion, home decor, I do reviews, unboxings, anything from designer to contemporary, um, everything that kind of helps you kind of curate your collection and see if that bag or product is right for you. If you guys love anything that I just mentioned, please consider giving me a like and clicking on that subscribe button. So like I mentioned, I'm just so happy because there are so many pastels happening right now with all the different fashion brands. And I thought it'd be fun to hop on here and kind of talk about my spring curated wish list in the contemporary category. I thought of this video because I first saw the Pochette Matisse in the bright yellow and it just like made my heart flutter. It is so cute. But when I actually watched Hello Catwalk's video on it, it's only five inches long, which doesn't fit really much, doesn't really fit much of anything besides cards. Uh, maybe like a key fob and a lip gloss, like something, maybe not even a lip gloss, a chapstick. So all in all, I think that it sits like right under $2,000. It just wasn't for me a uh, usable, I guess, functional bag. Nonetheless, it's so cute. And I just don't really have that many micro bags. So I thought it'd be fun to curate a list of contemporary bags that can kind of fulfill that need test it out and then see if it's something I want to invest in when it comes to luxury designer houses. So let's just hop right in. Okay, let's start off with Tory Burch. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually been asking you guys what you guys think about these new collections that's been coming out. What really caught my attention were these two bags. Number one, this is the Eleanor micro bag. Now, I didn't know anything. I didn't even know this bag existed. I've seen the Eleanor bag never really caught my attention, but this little size is so adorable. And that gold chain, I just feel like this would be actually a good test run to see if the Pochette Matisse is something that I would want to invest in. Now this one, I don't know exactly what colors it come in, but in the small size, it comes in this like mint seafoam green color right here. And oh, it's just so delicious and yummy. It reminds me of cotton candy. I want to see if they have that in the micro size. If they do, it's definitely something I will try to pick up because it's just so adorable. Again, I don't even know what will fit in here. I'm not even sure what the dimensions are, but nonetheless, I think it'll just make an outfit cute. And you know, honestly, why not, right? It'll be so cute for spring. This second Tory Burch bag is the Mercer Crescent bag. Now, what does this remind you of? Obviously the Prada re-edition, you guys know, I love the Prada re-edition. That is one of my favorite bags. Um, I do have the 2000 and a 2005 one. But when I saw this color, again, theme seafoam green, it just really spoke to me. And I like the comfortable statement strap with that silver chain. I just think it looks so good. Now, I've always been kind of hesitant to spend a lot when it comes to color and designer fashion houses. I'm trying to get over that and I know I'm super boring because I always stick with the neutral colors. Um, but eventually I want to get to that point. But I thought it would be a good test run to try out this because it has like the Prada re-edition vibes, but that color is so fun. It's not super branded, so you can't really, it's not like in your face. Um, and the price point is obviously a lot less than a Prada re-edition 2005. This one I think retails for two, $3.95 in the nylon version. They also have a leather version over here. This one I think retails for like $3.98 or something like that. But look at that, you guys know lilac is my color of the year. That is so cute. I haven't actually seen any of these in person, but I would love to, if I have the chance, go take a look at them because I do think that they would be good options to wear in spring. Like how cute. Drop me a comment below if you guys like any of these bags. Going to number two is this coach bag. Now, you guys, if you haven't seen my video on the coach pillow tabby in the 
size. Oh, I can't remember. It's a bigger size. I have in the ivory color. Now I am sad to say that I did sell that bag and I had such a hard time figuring out if I wanted to sell that bag because I love the, the pillowness of it. And there's no other pillow bags I've seen in the market that compares with the coach. The only thing I've learned about myself is any bag that's too bulky or big, I just never use. And I have a few still sitting in my closet that I probably need to sell as well because I just don't use those bags. I like to use smaller bags that are functional, but still like hold enough of my essentials. Um, but I do love this bag, but I want it now in the mini because I think that will suit my lifestyle better. I don't carry that much. And I love this pistachio green. I've been waiting for them to release a like pastel creamy color. I love the lilac one, or it's not lilac, it's a purple one that they launched, I think last season. And it's with a gunmetal um, hardware, such a cute one. But I was looking for more of like that spring pastel feel. The pistachio one, I wish it was a little bit lighter, but nonetheless, the creamy green is so gorgeous. But what really caught my attention is this banana cream yellow. And I think it's called vanilla on coach website. Drop me a comment below if you like any of these colors and which one you like more because I'm seriously consider getting that vanilla color because it's like that perfect yellow that I've been looking for. Again, sometimes on the website looks different than it actually does in person. So I want to go to a boutique to look at it, but it is just such a cute little bag and I would actually just use it as like a handheld bag. I Feel like it would be such a good like brunch bag or just to run errands with but yeah that is definitely on my spring contemporary wish list number three and i saw this in a targeted ad on instagram is this claire v bag this one is called the petite moyen i think that's how you say it correct me if i'm wrong but you guys know lilac they have it in this lilac color how gorgeous and what's great about this bag is the versatility, right? You can actually swap out the handles. Claire V actually sells the handles and they're super fun and quirky. So I'm going to drop one over here, but it also comes like a crossbody. I just, and the leather looks very buttery soft. Again, like I've actually never seen this bag in person. I know that they have some in Nordstrom and other department stores, but the color in this purple and this lilac is only on the Claire V website as far as I'm aware but I would love to take a look at it one day because I do think it's just like such a pretty color and I feel like it's a really comfortable bag to wear. Next one on my list is the Marc Jacobs Mesh Tote. Now, when I saw this one, I just like fell in love instantly. I thought of going to the beach, you know, just using it on the weekends when I need to grab a lot of things, but this like light blue and this like banana yellow color is just so gorgeous. I love the mesh to it because you can kind of like put your stuff in, it peeks through and it just makes it pretty. Um, I like this more than Canvas one. Now I've always kind of wanted the Marc Jacobs tote, but been hesitant. So I've been going back and forth. Do I want a bigger one, a smaller one? I saw so many reviews and everyone that has that bag claims that it's the best bag ever. And I agree. I do think that it's a very functional, very durable, like nice, quality made bag and I think the price point is great. I think this one retails for $250 ish. Um, the leather ones are a little bit more. If I do get a leather, I would want it in the smaller one um, just because I feel like that's good for every day, but this will be good for the beach. So I definitely um, would consider that and that's on my current spring wish list. Next spring wish list item is sticking with the beach theme is the Isabel Morant tote. Now this one is so cute because I love this classic look and Isabel Morant is such a great brand and I just think this bag will be so cute just to have in your car and just to use maybe even you know again it could be for you know adventures at the beach or just like days that you want to carry more such a cute tote and the price point to this bag is so good I think this one is under 400 so yeah this one is definitely one that I am considering now this next bag is a brand that I actually never really heard of. I saw it on their YouTuber's channel. Um, but this is, I believe how you say it is Sanmont. But I went, I saw someone feature it and I clicked on the link and they just have so many cute bags. I'll throw some up here, but they're just like really cute. It's leather bags, but 
fun colors, pastel colors, and I think the price point is like under 500. I think most of them are around the two, around the $300 mark. Um, again, don't know this brand. It doesn't sell anywhere except for online. Um, but I do think that this bag will be really fun and a good way to integrate pastels without having to spend a ton if you didn't want to. So definitely want to check out this brand one day. The next two, I wasn't sure I wanted to add it to the list because they're not really contemporary brands. It kind of sits between, in my opinion, contemporary and designer, but this one is a popular one. It's a Jacquemus bag. But now that I'm seeing all the spring colors and all the like fun one, like this pop of pink will look so cute, make any outfit just elevate. Now I, again, not probably not super functional. I, I bet you that only fits like a card and a key fob. I actually, um, in the mini size, but I definitely still want to get one. I did pick up a Jacquemus bag, not too long, maybe like beginning of the year, I want to say, but I actually had to return it because like the one I got came a little damaged. So I kind of returned it, forgot about it, but now I want to integrate it back into my wish list. I, and I think the colors just make it super fun. Um, so yeah, definitely eyeing that, just kind of looking to see if I can find a deal. Um, and then they have so many sizes now too. It's not just the little ones, they actually have in the bigger ones. So I might consider some of these sizes instead. I feel like it's more functional and it would actually fit my essentials. Okay, now the last one is this Tom Ford bucket bag. I wanted the Prada one for so long, but again, it's one of those things that I wanted, but I didn't know if it was worth the price, especially with the price jump. It used to be, I think, 1100, which I thought that was fair. Now you're looking at 1500 ish, which I don't know if I want to pay that for a nylon bucket bag, but this Tom Ford one, the black and gold is so beautiful. And this one is, I think under a thousand. If you wanted to get like a fun colored, I think it's a little bit more like a little over a thousand, but like this pink one is super cute. So I think again, like those will be good alternatives if you didn't want to get the Prada bucket bag, but that is, Basically, that's my contemporary spring wish list of all the fun bags that I want, but I don't want to invest too much in. I feel like these are all priced fairly. Let me know, drop me a comment below and let me know like what you think about any of these items. Would you guys consider getting them or do you prefer, you know, like the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse or, you know, the Fendi mini bag, micro baguettes, the Dior Lady the Lady Dior micro bag is so cute. And I almost thought of getting that when I saw the price, I think it's like at $3,000. I just couldn't, <laughs> couldn't do it. Cause literally it would just be like more of a necklace and it would not fit anything minus my key fob. So therefore instead I opted to consider one of these contemporary bags instead and just save my money for bags that actually could work for my day to day. But yeah, please let me know what you think. I love to get your opinion, your thoughts, and see like what's on your wish list. So drop me a comment below. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.